welcome back. Now we are going to start our discussion on types of bushings. And we will discuss four types of bushings. That is press fit bushings, liner or master bushings, renewable bushings, and special bushings. The first and second, that is press fit bushings and liner bushings could be headed or shoulder type, or they could be headless or plain bushings. First, press fit bushings. They are used when the number of parts to be produced does not necessitate the replacement of the bushings during the life of the jig. So the life of the jig is not uh, long or the number of operations to be performed are not too many. Or in other words, uh, we can say that these bushings are intended to remain in the jig until they wear out or the wearing out of the bushing actually means the wearing of, out of the jig itself. So the jig is discarded once the bushings wear out. So they are for the direct installation into the bushing plate or the jig plate. So as the name implies they are press fit bushings, so they are press fit or uh, inserted into the jig plate permanently. The outer die of press fit bushings can be supplied with grinding stock for fitting in the customer's plant or finished ground uh, to a press fit size. So this outer die of these bushings can be provided with extra stock so that if customer requires, uh, uh, then the grinding operation can be performed to remove the uh, extra stock and meet the customer's requirement, or they can be uh, used as it is uh, without removing any material. And such bushings generally have a letter U that shows unground. And if this letter U is not there, then that means such bushings are already ground. So this is an example of a headed press fit bushing. So it has a head or a shoulder. And you can see that this bushing is, uh, is installed into this jig plate and this shoulder or a head of the of the bushing actually rests against the uh, uh, against the bushing plate or the jig plate and this is the part through which a hole is to be drilled or modified now if we require this uh, head of the bushing to be uh, inside this jig plate then of course we can perform the counter boring operation so that uh, this head actually is inside the bushing plate but actually the benefit of this head in this uh, position as is shown in the figure is that it provides support and strength to the bushing during the machining operation and during the life cycle of the jig. Then we have plain press fit bushings. They are identical with the headed press fit bushing except for the omission of the head or the shoulder. So this is, a, this is an example of, of a bushing, press fit bushing that does not have the head or the shoulder, and in this fashion, it is uh, installed into the jig plate. So you can see that this bushing is not having the head, and uh, they are used when the top of the bushing needs to be flush with the top of the jig plate, as is shown in this case. Somehow, if the head of the bushing interferes uh, in handling of the jig or during the machining, then we can use headless or plain press fit bushings. Or they are used when the holes must be drilled close together in such a way that the shoulder bushings will interfere with each other. So in that case, for the holes to be drilled close enough, we can use plain or headless press fit bushings. So there are some conclusive points. Headed bushings are preferred to headless because collar or the head provides stop against jig plate, so they are more strong. Head also avoids looseness in the jig plate and sliding axly with the drill. So the, the bushing will not move out, for example, uh, if we are using this head type bushing. When the distance between holes is closed, then headless uh, bushing this type are used. Press fit bushings are intended to remain in the jig until they wear out. So whether we are using head type or headless, they are intended to remain in the jig until they wear out. 
So we actually, in other words, do not replace these bushings once they wear out. And press fit bushings are also used as liners or master bushings for renewable bushings. So we will discuss actually the liner or master bushings uh, in the following segment, but they are very similar to, uh, to, the, uh, to the press fit bushings in their shape, but their use and purpose is different. So they, they are used to actually uh, 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 locate the renewable bushings. Uh, they have two types, the slip and fixed renewable bushing that we will discuss in, in one of the following segments.